So if you're looking for a chesty action cam setup that's easy and reliable, and it's gonna cover probably about 95% of your outdoor activities, especially fishing, stay tuned. Just get outside and do something awesome. All right guys, so I'm out here at Fallsley, Ohio. I'm actually fishing, not had the best day, but you know what? I wanted to show you all this setup that I've been using for a while and what I've settled on after a lot of trial and error using action cameras on a chesty mount. And the cool thing is, I'm actually recording on it right now. So this is actually everything, what it sounds like, what it looks like, um, but I've got it off my chest. And that's one of the advantages of this setup is it's all in one and you can take it off and use it like a vlogging rig and attach it to your chest. So it's really like an all in one solution for filming outdoor content. It's been kind of slow out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna show you all each of the components for this setup, exactly how to set it up and I will link all the parts in the description below. All right guys, so I just got home, so we're gonna go in over here and we're gonna break this down. I'm actually filming this right now on another uh, vlogging rig that I made using the same exact camera but with a shotgun mic. And I'm gonna break this down piece by piece and you're gonna wanna stay tuned till the very end because I'm gonna include an audio comparison of the stock audio versus with the aftermarket audio adapter and lav mic. All right, so here's everything together, so I'm gonna break this down. I've got everything laid out here, but let's start with the camera. The camera is a DJI Osmo action camera, and I settled on this after a lot of heartbreak with GoPros. Um, I've lost a lot of footage on GoPros. I had it where it would get too hot and straight up wouldn't record. So that's why I went with the DJI Osmo. I've done a few videos on it, and I will um, link those up in the YouTube card so you all can watch those. Most reliable camera in my mind out there after using multiple models of the GoPro Heroes. Next is going to be the audio adapter. Now what this allows you to do is you have an audio jack on the side and on the bottom is a USB-C so that you can charge the camera and be able to use external audio. So I'm gonna put this on its side because I'm filming with one hand, but you see on the back there, it just plugs into the side. Boop, perfect. Next to go along with that is this purple panda lavalier mic i chose this one it's got pretty good reviews you can choose whatever lavalier mic you want but like one thing that you're going to want to make sure that it comes with is probably a windscreen that really helps with a lot of wind noise and keeping the quality of your audio good if your audio sucks and you're talking to the camera nobody's going to want to watch your video next is the actual cage mount this is the DJI Osmo cage mount. It comes with it. Um, and then this is like a foot from a GoPro style camera. Um, but you can get those aftermarket too. I'll have all this linked down below. But that's what the camera actually goes in. Next is going to be the chesty mount itself. This is an Amazon Basics chesty mount. Now, one of the reasons why I like this over the GoPro, the GoPro one has a cloth back to it. And the reason why I like this one better without that cloth back is, if you see here, I've actually got some Velcro strips on the back here. So what this battery pack allows me to do is not have to carry around a ton of batteries for my camera. That way I don't have to have a bunch of batteries and be swapping out batteries. You just run it off this. Now one thing to note, when you have this audio adapter in, it is no longer waterproof. So you don't wanna go jumping in the lake with this in there. Um, you can always, I always keep the side door with me just in case I would need it. So I actually take this USB battery pack and I slide it up in there and I actually have it Velcroed so it stays on and it's all one unit. And one thing to note is that when I have it upright, see I put all the ports on the bottom so that if it does start to rain or drizzle, I'm not getting water in the bottom ports. One thing I really like about this battery pack is that it is USB-C and it's one of the quick charge ones so that it actually charges way faster than my old one. And I usually keep this all together that way that it's all together and I can even charge it without removing anything. So I'm putting the actual camera in the cage here. There we go. And then on the side there, you have a little hole where I can put in this USB audio adapter. We're gonna slide that in. And then that's just gonna slide into the chesty mount. Clicked in there. So now that I've got all that, I'm gonna take my mic and I'm gonna attach it. So I've got the cable here. This is a little adapter that it comes with for the microphone. And I'm gonna plug that into the camera. And it does come with other connections. So you can actually use this with your phone also if you would like to. Then all I did is 
I'm gonna wrap all that cabling around here, but you just wanna do some cable management so that all this extra cable isn't dangling. All right, now that I've got all that cable wrapped up there, I'm gonna take this little clip and I'm just gonna clip it onto the harness. The last part is I have this USB to USB-C cable and I'm gonna plug that in. So then all I did was, once I got it plugged in, I'm just gonna wrap it around the base a couple times and then I'm gonna plug it in here and you'll see it's gonna start charging. See the red light? That means that you're getting power delivery from that. And that's your setup. It's all in one unit. It's super great to be able to have something that I can use as both a vlogging rig and as a chesty rig. When I get home, I can take out the SD card and I can dump the footage and I can use this USB-C quick charge. I can charge it in my car. I can charge it whenever I'm at home dumping my footage. So then I'm ready for my next day of outdoor adventures. So now what I'm gonna show you is how the audio sounds with the lav mic and without the lav mic. All right guys, so I'm out here fishing Halsey, Ohio. I'm not having the most wonderful day and there's an airplane flying over right now. So what I want to demonstrate is just how the audio through this sound. So right now I have the uh, external audio adapter on with the lav mic on. So this is what it sounds like. All right, and on the other side, this is with the external audio disconnected coming through the stock audio on the camera. Hey, I'd greatly appreciate it if you are finding value out of this video to go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Also, if you know somebody that might get value out of this video, go ahead and share it with them or share it on social media for me. I'd really appreciate it. Hopefully I can help somebody out, not waste a bunch of money because I've been through several different chesty setups and lost a lot of money until I settled on this one. All right, so if you want to check out some other videos, here's a video on how I built a vlogging setup using the same camera. And then the other one is what YouTube says is best for you, best for viewer. So have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.